Joseph Hardy, guys. You know, matter of fact, let's put let's put Joe's. There it is. Joe, just Joseph. We call him Joe Nose. That's his that's his nickname. Um, I don't have a nickname. Well, I have some nicknames, but they're not really nice to say, but you know. <laughs> What's going on tonight, Joe? Not much, man. How's it going, Doug? Man, it's a beautiful day out here, man. We had 75 or 80 degree weather and night's been night's been getting down a little chilly. It was almost I think it was almost 58. Oh, almost so. 58. We were in freezing the last couple of weeks. <laughs> it's been good weather here, man. Really good weather. Hey That's guys, good. you guys chime in, man. Ask some questions. Joe and I are talking about 22 events, and let me go over the, the events with you so far. Um, you know, this is something new. Joe doesn't know I'm doing. On the 7th of January, I'm going to be teaching a concrete cleaning, how to clean a commercial shopping center. We're going to bid it. We're going to show you guys how to measure it. We're going to show you how to clean it. We're going to do all that in two and a half hours, and then we're going to go to a social afterwards, and this is all in Southern California in Oceanside, California on January 7th. But the big event that Joe and I are going to be talking about is Trudy's event, Panhandle Supply event. It's set up for 1,100 people. Will we get 1,100 people this year? I don't know, but Trudy's went out and spent a lot of money. I don't know, and, Ron. I'm starting to hear a lot of talk about it, so I mean, well, it might just... Joe, it's going to be the largest training event that's ever happened in industry history. It'll be the largest. There's no, there will never be a, la a larger training event. It's on I the believe, 19th. I've looked at some of the lineup you got. It's crazy. I 19th mean, it's crazy. and 20th of January, guys. And then we go on to Caleb. We go on to actually Marco Romando's event. It's on the 9th, 10th, and 11th of February, guys. And that's going to be one hell of an event. It's moving up to a big place as well. Right. Um, well, I mean, you so, think about it, you got Trudy who has pretty much spearheaded the paint issue problem in our industry. She I has. Mean, she's taken that on herself and just spearheaded that. And then you're going to follow that up, Marco Ramonda's event. And guys, don't know Marco, I don't think there's a person in our industry, not to give him too big a head, that knows more about LinkedIn than he does. He and is, I guarantee you he'll be talking about that at some point. At he time. is the master at it. He really is. It's a, it's a crazy, crazy gift he's got. And how he just keeps nailing customers with it. And, uh, you know, he does a really, really, really good job. Guys, I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to put a lineup up here in uh, this video. Hopefully I can find on. This is where I got to turn my phone down because <laughs> I always wind up going online live. And then now he said attempt. So, guys, that means we don't know what we're doing, but we're going to try. <laughs> Here it is. I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the link to the agenda so some of you guys can find the agenda. If you go to nationalcleaningexpo.com too, you can find the agenda there. But I went ahead and just put the agenda up. Um, you guys have to click on that. It's over in the uh, over in the thing. Yeah, I did call you Flip. i I was looking. I wanted to see if you wanted to speak at the uh, Panhandle event. He's probably not watching us right now. Hey guys, there's 13 guys out there, man. 14 guys watching. Hey man, if you guys can pick up and share this thing, man, I'm going to have some prizes. I can guarantee you that I'm going to have some prizes. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, anybody that shares this thing, I'm going to definitely put them in a drawing. These are, this is a special edition shirt right here, guys. Wow. This is John Tornabeni's garage cleaning class shirt. I've got about 25 of these. I'm going to definitely give a couple of them out tonight for some of the guys that share this thing. So, you know, always make sure you guys share it, chime in, even if it's just to say, Hey, just say, Hey, hit the like button guys. It helps, helps everything. We're broadcasting tonight. So Joe knows we're on YouTube. We're on LinkedIn. We're on Facebook on three pages. Uh, I, I've gotten, I, I'm getting this down now, Joe. I, I kind of know what I'm, I'm doing more and more thing. lost in it. If you've watched lately, I've kind of slowed down on the videos and went to post just because I, I have a hard time. I'm not technology, you know, I'm technology challenged. So yeah, as long as there, you've got to figure it out, we're good to go. There is. And then Corey says, good evening. Good evening. You guys too. What's up, John? Uh, John's there. Joe's there, our Chuck's there. Chuck, you got the link. We got a Facebook user. Sorry, we don't know who you are saying hey, uh, because you're coming on from somewhere else and we're we're on a different platform, so it doesn't give you an ID. Let me show these guys this so that they know. They may want to chime in and put their name in there and say who they are if they if they want us to know who they are. Well, um one thing talking about this event. Take a minute and tell people what they can kind of expect out of that. I mean, of course, everybody knows they're going to get training and there's going to be some people there. But a lot of these people are like, well, why would I take time off to go to an event? Because, you know, what's going to be there for me? And they don't understand the social aspect of it, the networking yeah. aspect of yeah. it, the learning. Well, 
Well, this event, a lot of guys go, well, these events are built for new guys. And that's right. There's a lot of stuff that's built for new people. We actually, we actually have a really cool thing. And I want to tell you this, um, Judd's going to do this. Judd West. I know you, Judd. Yeah, I know you know Judd very well because you met him down in Atlanta. We, mm-hmm. we, we, it's so stupid. I've been training these guys. I've been training my own guys for 25, 35 years, you know, and doing these events. And we never thought about like everybody does, like they go, they do a pressure washing one on one class, but there's not a class that shows everybody what an X jet is, what a downstreamer is, what a remote yes. is, what extension wands are, you know, what all these accessory tools, uh, you know, maybe a spray gun, a spray nozzle, ag gun, you know what I mean? Shooter tips. So what, what he's going to do is he's going to do nothing but a 45 minute session of showing. And this is a new guy thing, you know, cause most, well, right. you know, it's funny we say new guys, but here's the dumbest thing in the world. I won't use any names because I don't want to embarrass anybody, but I know people in this industry that have been in it for five and 10 years and they don't know how to downstream, Joe. They've never seen a downstreamer, you know, and <laughs> and, it, and it's and it's and you and I are laughing at that, but it's true. They don't know what a downstreamer is. Yeah, it, and, it, it does, and, and it's all the time, Ron. It's crazy, man. And to be honest, I'll tell everybody this. I've never owned an X jet, you know. But to carrying around a bucket, carrying around a bucket to me, the way I clean concrete, you know, I I see an X jet, and here's where I see, and maybe you might agree with me. If I'm in a lift and I know I got to get a strong solution on a building that I'm doing two or three stories, right. having the bucket in the lift, spraying the solution on right there, being able to pull the draw tube out, rinse the building right there, I can see. That a that an X jet would be an excellent tool for that. 100%. You know what I mean? Because because you're right there. You're not going through 400 feet of hose to clear chemical, all that other stuff. So you, it's a time saver. And I and I get that. That makes sense. But for me, in a concrete cleaning situation, when you got millions of feet of concrete to be dra- lumping along and dragging a bucket along, it didn't make any sense. That it doesn't I'm the make same it. way, Ron. I downstream 95 percent of the time, but I will tell you, I have X jet it. I do have an X-Jet system when I need it. And I don't think it really matters which system you're using, but you need to know what your options are out there. And that's the kind of stuff you will learn from this class. Is hey, these are the options I have available to me. Ron's saying I should downstream. Joe's saying I should downstream. But, you know, maybe I want an X-Jet. Okay. As long as you know it's out there for you and you know you got these other options, that's what these classes are about. And then this here, Joe, we you, I don't know if you saw the video on it, but this roof tech system, man. Brand new system. It's it's a pressure washer and um, soft wash system. Single pump. It, there's no switching pump. It's it a de- it's a dedicated pump. It's a high pressure pump. It'll deliver chemicals. You could have a hundred. You could have, you could put a twelve percent solution on if you want to. Um, and it's going to be there, and they're going to be showing that thing off. Now, they're not going to be demoing this unit. They're going to actually be cleaning some stuff with it because I want everybody to understand this. These are not demonstrations. This is technical training. When Joe taught the the when Joe taught the, the class in Atlanta and you showed people water fed poles and traditional window cleaning, you showed the them you showed them how to do it. Of course, inadvertently, there's a demo because you're using what you're using. Right. And you used you use what you use. I mean, we yep, didn't. That's all I we didn't. We didn't go out there and grandstand. We're talking about this no, pole or that I, pole. And that's one of the things I said. You know, when we were going to do it, is I'll bring my equipment because I want to be able to show people what I actually use everyday life. And that's what these guys are going to be teaching you. In these classes, they're not going to be. Some, it's not going to be. Well, some vendor gave us ten thousand dollars, so we're going to show you how to use this thing. If they're going to show you the stuff they use. Yeah. Here's Mr. Scott Inks, guys. He's the hose guy. They call him, that's what they call him, the hose guy. He'll be there. And uh, Scott's, uh, Scott's there working with Panhandle Supply. And, of, of course, they, uh, they supply Scott. Scott's, Scott supplies them the hose that they sell. And I will say this. Scott's got some pretty, pretty good uh, pressure washing hose. I've not had the pleasure to use any of his soft wash stuff because everybody knows I'm not a soft wash guy. Even though we soft wash, we soft wash with a pressure washer. So we don't use a special hose. We use the same hose that we mm-hmm. use to pressure wash with. And uh, I want to, I want to get that myth, Joe, out of there because so many guys think that because you got a pressure washer, you don't soft wash. And, and I had to. You know, you know the blue and the red gun. Yep. 
you saw me put that on a 3,500 PSI pressure washer I in did. Atlanta. And That's everybody cool. thinks, you can't do that. There's nothing more than 300 PSI when you're using the red or blue gun. It's 300 yeah. PSI. That's all right. it is. It's a soft wash. And you're good because you cannot get a 1,000 PSI, which is rated for. You can't even get it with a 3,500 PSI pressure washer because of the of the way a pressure right. washing system works with yeah, the unloader. I've seen anybody do it that way, and I was yeah. really... Did you see everybody thing. when the pressure washer went over the parapet wall? Yeah. We were shooting with the gas powered and it could barely get to the parapet wall. Mm -hmm. And when we put on the pressure washer, I think, and everybody goes, Oh, <laughs> yeah. they were shocked. You know, that was a great event down there in Atlanta. Yeah. There was a lot of good stuff down there. And I know there's gonna be a lot of good stuff at this event. Uh, and guys, it's not just going to be for the new guys in the industry. Look, I mean, I'm sitting here looking at the lineup here. You got Trudy Wycom. I hope I pronounce, I always mess pronounce her last name. But anyway, you got her talking about industry pain issues. Guys, if you are doing washing in our industry and you are washing houses, you need to know about these industry pain issues. I heard her down in Atlanta talk about this stuff. And I'm telling you, it's something you better get educated on. If not, it's going to bite you or bite your insurance company really hard. Yeah. And and there's guys in the industry that I know guys in the industry have never, they've, they've never had a problem and washed thousands of houses. And I know guys in the industry that have painted five houses, you know what I mean? So yeah. it's, it's, it's crazy. You know, some guys, I've never had a problem with that, you know? And, and then you, you got the guy that, you know, five houses he's painted and it, yeah. you know, to paint five houses, Just man, depends that's on the tough, painters in your area thing. of what they're using. Yeah. Well, Can it really, okay. yeah. sorry. It really I does. Say, I was saying, then you move on and you got, Fence cleaning, staining, and sealing. There's a lot of guys that have been in this industry for years that do not understand proper wood procedures and how to clean a fence and how to stain it. And well, you got to mention Caleb. Caleb Roth is the guy that's coming down there. Fence and stain and sealing pros. The guy is. You saw him in uh, Atlanta. He's the real. He's the real deal. There's yeah. no beginners stuff with him. Um, he's going to get down and and per module, he's going to show you how to fully prep and stain a wood fence. They're going to have sections of fence that they're going to be doing this on on each module. But hey, Joe, let me let me explain yeah. to these guys how that first day is going to go so they understand. The, 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 the entire first day is a big circuit training day. So there's going to be like 14 different things going on simultaneously. And then there's going to be rotations of people that are students. They're going to be going ahead and they're going to be moving from one module every 45 minutes. But what the cool thing about this is between the modules, and we'll probably do five or six in a day, but between those modules, you'll get options. You'll get to choose it what you what you want to go to and what's more interesting to you and what you want to. You may want to repeat one again. You may say, "Hey, man, I want to go to that again because I really I want to get more from that, so I want to see it again." Or here's the cool one of the cool things too. We're gonna have some guys doing soft washing, but we're not gonna have just we're gonna have guys doing gas powered soft washing, and then we're gonna have guys working doing downstream soft washing and other smaller dedicated pumps. So you're going to be able to go to, you know, you, you might want to go see what the gas power is about and you might want to run over and see what the downstreaming is about. And then, you know what, you can make a decision for yourself as far as what, what direction you and want see, to go. I, I love that layout you got because I go to a lot of different events and I've been to a lot and I'll be honest with you. Sometimes you go to events and they got the lineup lined up and you're sitting there and there's somebody talking about something that, Hey, I could teach the class, so I don't really feel like hearing it. But there's another subject that I would like to hear. This way, guys, you're not going to be bored. If it's a subject you don't want to hear, you can move right over to the next module and hear the one that you need more work on. Yeah, so you're going to stay in. You're going to stay involved the whole day, the whole time, because there's always going to be something going on that you're going to be interested in. You're not going to have that lull that we sometimes get at classes where you go for a two-hour period, somebody's talking, and you're like, "Man, this just don't interest me." And here's and here's something too. Some of the guys in the industry, and, I, and this happens all the time, Joe, they'll go, oh, you got a guy that's only been cleaning for a year, or you got a guy that's only been cleaning for six months, and he's instructing a class. Well, guess what? Sometimes the guys that have been doing this for the first year, 
they can relate more to a new person that the struggles of learning how to do this. And not only do they better at home, their communication skills doing some of these events. And I'll tell this is my own personal testimony. I've been doing this teaching stuff for 20 years and I had guys that I started out with that I mentored speaking and they literally talked to their shoes when they first came on the stage. These are some of the guys in our industry now that are some of the better speakers in the industry. Why? Because they had to get up there when they were younger, when they were less experienced, and they had to do it. And that's why we did the Young Guns event because that was awesome. We, to hear some we, of them guys get up there and talk, they just knocked it out of the park. We got to find new talent. We got to find I mean, new no talent. Fact, that's it. You can you only know? hear, you can only go to an event and hear what Ron Musgrave's got to say so many times before you're tired of hearing what Ron Musgrave's got to say. <laughs> Same thing with Joe Hardy. You can go, only go hear me talk so many times before you know my whole story. This way, you're hearing some fresh people, some fresh ideas, you know, a fresh look on things, and it, it, it just makes it awesome. Yeah. Hey, all I do in this industry, Joe, is build speakers. That's all I've ever done. Everybody thinks, oh, Ron's, Ron's in control of everything. No, I want to bring... I want to find talent in the industry and I want to raise that talent up and raise the level of the industry. And the only way we can do that is to give new people in the industry an opportunity. And you know what? Sometimes, man, they're, they're diamonds in the rough and I've seen it. you know, they escalate and then they become the rock stars in the industry. And I'm going to make a mention. Mindy is one of them. She's the queen of clean. We joke around with mm -hmm. her as a queen of clean, but she really has a passion and her, her last name's Lennon. She really has a passion to clean concrete. She's, right. she says when she goes to the jobs, she says, boys, you handle the house and I'm going to take care of all the, all the concrete okay. cleaning around the whole place. And she really is, you know, you know, and let's face this, you know, after you clean a couple hundred houses, um, I think you're qualified. You can teach a class. I think yeah, I you think can so. do it. I think you can teach a class. Most definitely. Are you a renowned expert? No, that takes years and years <laughs> of experience. Has she seen everything under the sun? No. Right. No. But she knows the basics. Daily. I still find things, even areas where I think I know what I'm doing. There are still times I learn new tricks, new secrets to it. You know, I'm always learning something. Now, I see we also got Jason Ayers talking about rust removal. That's going to be a great one. I mean, anybody doing pressure washing should know how to do rust removal because it's such an easy upsell on things. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, guys, you guys got some questions out there. Chime in. Ask them. You want to ask about it. Here it is about the events. That includes, I wanted to make the mention before I forgot, Caleb Roth on the 24th and 25th is also in Nashville having a Woodfest event. It's free. He had about 400 attendees last year, even during COVID. It's going to be wow. probably bigger this year. And on the 26th, we're doing a little pressure washing, uh, smaller circuit training event at his event on the 26th of February. Jamie Schmidt um, and his organization, unfortunately, they'll be going on at the same time in Orlando on the 24th and 25th, and that's the PWMCA. Is that right, PWMCA? Not sure on that. Is that how, anyways, they're having, yeah, they're having that event. Be PWMCA. John's there. John can, John, John Sacco's uh, uh, right there. John, you want to put the link in for that, man? You're more than welcome to put the link in for that. Hey guys, um, let me tell you something. I don't know about Caleb's event in Nashville, so I'm, I know Caleb's a great guy, but I know it will be a great event. Let me tell you something. If you're from outside the Nashville area, if you want to go to an area, go to a great event, and then hang out afterwards, make sure you go downtown Nashville. The rooftop bars, the hangouts, the networking, Every time I've been in Nashville, I love it. It is great, isn't it? Uh, I, I tell you, I love it. I, I, I go, if I was just going to take a vacation, which I don't take vacations without it being something work-related, but if I was just going to take a vacation, Nashville. Hey, guys, let me know if you shared this, man. This is a special edition, guys, a special edition. I don't have very many of these. I only got 25 of them. John gave me permission to give these puppies away. They're kind of similar to Trudy's, but they're, I don't know. I really like them. It's probably one of my favorite ones. I like that this, red this color. color. Yeah, this color is really nice. But uh, you can't get one unless you attend John's class. But um, there you go. I guess John's got one. There's the uh, there's the link to Jamie's event. It's P P P W M C A. Okay, so I was right. Org, and you guys can go there. That's on the 24th and 25th. Uh, it's a it's a event in Orlando. 
I don't know about any other events. I know that the IWCA and the PWNA joined forces together. They're in February on the exact same days as Marco's event, and they're also in Orlando as well. One of the cool things, though, is in 2022, Power Clean, UAMCC, PWNA have joined forces, and we're going to have an event in October in Orlando as well. That's in 2022. And then guess what, guys? They're going to come out to Phoenix here in 23, right in my backyard. And I'm excited about that because it's going to be and a I'm really say, Ron, be a great uh, event. For those that are, you know, debating on which events to go to when, they're all sound like they're great events. PWMCA, I mean, you got John Seiko involved in that. I think Don Root's still involved in that. Gino Neal, sorry, I'm not up to date with that stuff. So, Jamie Schmidt. I mean, they're all going to be great events in the industry, and that's what it's about, guys. Go get the training, get the networking, go to as many yeah. as you can. It doesn't matter what the event is, man. I, you know, Chuck, Chuck, he's probably listening right now. He had called me, and I don't want to say we were arguing, but I was trying to make sense to him about he was he put a poll out, and he felt that guys thought that the location was more important than anything. What a lot of people don't understand in this industry is, is that when you've got the new guys and the part-timers, they want events that are on weekends because they got a job, they're working. Exactly. And, and we've always, as industry professionals, I've always had the events during the week. And if you're a, if you're a guy that's got a job, you better take off work, call, call right. in some sick days and come out to the events. Cause I don't want to burn up my weekends with my kids family <laughs> for teaching industry events, man. And, and, and everything's more expensive on the weekends. The hotel right. prices go up. I mean, you know, so it's more advantageous for us to do these things during the week. And of course guys think, and this is what they think, not every event we want, we're promoting you guys to get to events, but not every event, just because it's in your backyard, is going to have necessarily what you need. You right. need to look at the event schedule, look at the teachers, and basically they've got to have some kind of substance in there to, hey, what are they going to really teach you? You know, are they going to show me what they're saying? Yeah. And that's or, or, do need, or, do or do you need or do you need it? Or do you and need I'm it? I'm going to relate to what they're yeah. saying that it's going to apply yeah. to me because I'm not going to go if. I got 10 people talking about how to make a $10 million business. You know what? I don't want to make a $10 million business. So that event would do me no good. Yeah. And that's what you guys got to relate to is what events, what people are talking. Are they going through the same struggles you are? Have they gone through the same struggles you were going through? Can they actually help you? And it don't, there's no right or wrong on which events you go to. If you go and you get knowledge and you enjoy the event and you learn something, Hey, go for it. Yeah, Chuck just shared the video, I guess. I don't know what video he's talking about. But I want to say, Luis, man, thanks for the great video and the pictures. He got a he got a winter shirt today, and he made a great video for me. I, I appreciate that. That's that. great. Yeah. That was awesome. They do good then, stuff. Then we got Jerry McMillan's going to be there doing capture recovery. Yeah, Jerry's getting it down now. He's, uh, he's, a he's come a long way with uh, – he's been doing it a long time, and – the the actual hands on part has gotten much better yeah. over the years, man. I mean, and it's really what's needed because we can only do so much in a classroom. Even though Jerry's got a great classroom presentation, mm -hmm. man, when you get out there and the equipment's running, the vacuum's working, the surface cleaner's instant capture recovering, you go, wow, man! I, you know, all of a sudden the light bulbs start going off, and guys go. Yeah, man, I wouldn't have to rent so much. There wouldn't be that sludge pile at the end of the <laughs> yeah. end of the garage, you know, like if this thing's sucking it up and while wow, there's an oil separator too, you know, holy cow, you know, and they actually get to see that stuff working, you know, it's a it's 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 a different ball game. It really is. Now, hey, what's up, Antonio? I want to you to touch on Ron because this is where people get confused. They hear event, they hear Oh, man, there's an event going on. I'd love to go to, but you know what? I can't afford. Tell people why we're online right now. What is the price of this event? A donut. Zero. Zero. It don't cost you nothing to go. Just sign up and go to the event. It's free. Yep. You know, and trust me, guys, it, it costs somebody something to put it on, but it's free to the contractor. So go get this training. 
You know, I, mean, I wish I knew. I wish I knew who this was. See, this Facebook user, we don't know who he is because he's on no comment, so I can't tell you. It says, you will learn something at every event. Events changed my life. Hell, I met my old coach at an event. Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. Tell Pops hello for me. So he knows you, Joe. I don't know who that could be, but. Uh, I don't, well, maybe he'll chime in and say who he is because we yeah, maybe he realizes now. He realizes now we can't. Pops, he said, hi, he's already asleep. So <laughs> He's he's out. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to share these. And another one why he's sharing that, guys, Heath Phelps is going to be there. It looks like he's going to be doing quite a few uh, things. He Ball Phelps, Martin. that guy, that guy who wrote a book that shouldn't have wrote a book. What's he got? What business does he have writing a book? <laughs> but yet it was a good book. <laughs> he wasn't a, he wasn't a year in business even. <laughs> but he wrote a good book. I mean, he so like the lineup's awesome. And then he did. You know, when, when everybody chimes in about Heath writing a book, it's just the jealousy of why didn't I think to write a book? That's really oh, what wait a second. Was. I'm looking at the second day now, Ron, and I'm scrolling through this the first time I've really looked at it. I'm seeing Brandon Vaughn, John Tornabini. Is that? And that's, the, that's, there's going to be a total of four speakers on that second day. Um, Mike Weingard is one of them. And then we're looking for, we're actually still looking for the fourth guy. And then of course you got John's class, but I want everybody to understand something. John Tornabeni, highest paid speaker in our industry. I say that that burns a lot of guys up, but, <laughs> but it's a fact. There's nobody that's taught more garage, you know, taught more classes and basically has made more money teaching the classes and, and a little bit of that's probably due to COVID because I know there's some guys prior to COVID that were probably, you know, they were probably cashing in on the industry right. a little bit better than John was. But John got out there during COVID and kept teaching. Right. And uh, people were, keep people are coming to his class. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm, I'm going to be completely honest. When I sat, John and I have known each other for 22 years. I used to talk to John. I was a nighttime guy cleaning at nighttime way back when we were younger and John was a cop and he was working the graveyard shift and I would call into the station to talk to him. Like, you know, that station would answer nine times out of 10. He was answering cause he was on the dispatch and, or, or I'll, I'll, I'll tell this. He'll get mad at me. They'll be, hang on a second. I got to go wake him up. <laughs> they would tell me they got to go wake him up. But, you know, it's funny. We, re we, we fast forward here 22 years later, and John's the real deal. I mean, he's out there. You see the videos. He's cleaning massive million-dollar square feet garages, doing them in a weekend. With with multiple crews and getting the job done and cashing the checks and he and he teaches and when I sat in on his first class I was very skeptical I was like okay let's see what this because because here's the funniest thing Everett Abrams coined coined John the most successful part timer in the business because John was part time for probably 15 years um, now did that mean that John was really part time no he had multiple crews running while he was still a police officer. Uh, there in Oyster Bay Cove. So, mm -hmm. but the bottom line was, is when John reached retirement age, which he's been full time now in the industry for, I don't even know how many years, I don't even want to say, but he, he's been retired now for quite some time. Right. And, you know, he's, he, has he made his business any bigger? Not really. His business was big when he was, when, when he was doing full time police officer right. work, you know, and people don't realize that. And, you know, he's just, he's, he, he does, he's in <laughs> Let's just put it this way. He's a character. He's entertaining. Um, you're not going to be bored if you take the garage clean class. No, I got to say, you worth every penny. I'll be the first one to say it, guys. I have had it out with John. Me and him's argued over stupid stuff over the years. I mean, gone head to head. But when I get to an event, I've talked to him many times. I've drank a beer with him. I've listened to knowledge he's got. He's he's educated. There's no question about it. He knows what he's talking about. So, if you want to learn to do park and garage cleaning, I would. 100% say that is the class to sign up for. I mean, I don't know what his price point is on it. You'd have to talk that over him, but I'm sure it's worth every dime of it. Oh, definitely. You know, and then you got Brandon Vaughn. He's going to be, the, is he the last speaker? Am I right? Or? No, he opens up. He's opening up right opening. now on second day. Mike Weingart's opening up on the third day on the, on the, on the second day. But we're going to have two other speakers I haven't announced yet, and then we're looking for one last speaker. 
Uh, we're looking for one last powerhouse speaker. And really, Joe, I'm going to do something different on this. It's, it's, some people are going to be kind of crazy about this. It's going to be a special speaker. We're not even going to announce who it is. The last speaker of the day, we're not telling anybody who it is. It's just going to be That's a special special guest speaker. And you're going to have to come and you're going to have to stay there and find out who it is. And people are going to be pleasantly surprised. I will give everybody a hint. He does live very close to the event. He's only about 20 minutes away. So, but he's a powerhouse speaker. Uh, no, no BS. Runs a multi-million dollar business. So it's going to be a pretty, pretty fun event. Who I'm trying to get out to the event. I'm trying to get the six million dollar man, um, Connor Eubanks, out to the event. He spoke in, uh, he spoke in uh, Phoenix. But I'd like to get him out there. He's a guy that's only 28 years old doing $6 right. million dollars in Southern California. And I would love to see him out at this event. Um, it, he was he, He's powerhouse. He brought in one of his clients. He knows what he's talking about. Uh, and I'd love to see him come out and do now, his relationship building. Let me ask you this, Ron, because you know me. I go to events. I enjoy the events. I enjoy the training. I enjoy the learning. But I enjoy the networking more than anything. So is there any kind of socials planned yet? Are they in the process of doing that? Yes. Trudy has um, secured a place that can handle 400 people, believe it or not. There is a there is a huge, massive nightclub there, and she has reserved it for the evening of the 19th, starting at 7.30. Uh, 7.30. And he's, he's, it, we're going to be all over there. Um, after that, who knows? Hopefully not till wee hours of the morning because we got to be back on the 20th. <laughs> but but Joe knows. We, we're him and, I, wee hours him and I go to bed 3 o'clock in the morning. We're back yeah. up at 5.30 with a coffee and a donut in our hand. <laughs> and, guys, listen to what I'm going to tell you now because this is very important. For those of you all that haven't been to many events or this is your first event, the main bit of advice I can give you is do not be a wallflower. When you get to the event, if you see somebody you want to walk, want to talk to, walk up to them and say, hey, I'm so-and-so, how are you? Put your hand in their hand, look them in the eye, and they will talk to you. Don't be surprised, you know, uh, people that you consider famous in the industry. You know what? They're doing a job just like you are. They're running a business just like you are. you got every right to be there. you got every right to get yourself involved in the conversations. If you're a wallflower, you just sit there, you're going to miss so much of the networking opportunities. Don't hesitate. If you see a group of people gathered around having a conversation, step up there and get in it. You're an entrepreneur. You've got every right to be in that conversation, just like everybody else there does there. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. You know, well, I think that pretty much sums up that, don't it? It does. What's Chuck saying here? Let's see, what, let's see if we can decipher what Oh, that Chuck other is. person was Lewis Coatney, Ron. Okay, Lewis. Okay, cool. And Lewis yeah, will be there. Lewis, Lewis will be there. I'd Lewis be says he's going to be there. I look there. forward to seeing him. I ain't talked to him in a while. I look forward to seeing him again. Let's see. Let's see. What you need a you need a speaker with common sense. Chuck doesn't. Chuck Chuck doesn't believe. Chuck thinks our industry needs more common sense. Hey Chuck, you're not going to find it, man. I'm just common telling you, buddy. Isn't that common. <laughs> It, it 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 common sense went out went 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 and left. Common sense went out the door. This is uh, Jim uh, says absolutely don't be a, a wallflower. Uh, Joe and Jamie took great care of me at my first event. There you go, Jim Jim Babble. You know Jim? Oh yeah, I know Jim. He, he's awesome. I Jimmy is just awesome, and he rode with me and uh, Jamie cross country. Bless his soul. And I'm gonna tell a funny story. He might get a kick out of. So me, Jamie, and Jimmy rode to a one of the boot camps we were doing together. And on the way back, we were going to turn around, and take and catch a plane out of Jersey and come back. We were dropping the rental car off of Jersey uh, or Philadelphia, whatever airport it was. Well, our flight got canceled. So Jamie had already dropped us off at the airport and gone back to the hotel or gone back to his house when the flight got canceled. We tried all night long to call him. We couldn't get another flight out. So we ended up getting a motel room. Next day, we're tired, we're wore out, we're trying to figure out, we got to get home. So we finally got a hold of Jamie, he finally answered the phone the next day, and we convinced him to give us the rental car that he had rented to carry us out there, and we drove it all the way to Myrtle Beach. And I kind of feel bad for Jimmy, because when we got down to my exit in uh, North Carolina, 
I said, well, you just let me off here. And I had him go return the rental car. And that ended up being a whole nother ordeal. So he <laughs> caught the wrong end of the stick that day. <laughs> great guy yeah i've been only place i was ever stuck was i was stuck in iowa man if you've ever been to that airport in iowa and uh they experience any kind of weather difficulties first the flights are limited you know what i mean but there's one good thing about living in phoenix you can always get to las vegas and if you can get to las vegas you can get to Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Just, just remember that there's those planes always go to Las Vegas, man. Don't it don't matter what the weather. No, the Las Vegas flight's not canceled. What do you mean the Las Vegas? The one going to Phoenix is canceled, but the Vegas flight's still on. Yeah, we're still flying to Vegas. You know, they just keep those. Well, planes Vegas is going to keep their money coming in. Yeah, I mean, that's they're it. They're going to keep man. them planes going somehow, some way. You know, most definitely. There's uh, James Cassidy. Hey, Ron and Joseph. And then What's Jim, up, Jim uh, said, good times, though, memories, man. I'll never forget it. Yep. So he, he responded to your, your comment. Yeah, that was a great that was a great event. It was a great ride. I mean, I think me and Jimmy were both so glad to get home, though, when we got there finally, especially Jimmy because he had a ordeal after I left him. Hey, Joe, in closing really quick, yep. let me let me bumble through this line, this, this, this lineup because – I, I, you know, and I'm going to forget somebody. So, you know, they're just going to have to be, don't worry about their feelings getting hurt. We mentioned John Tornabeni. We all, everybody knows day two, he's doing a garage cleaning. It's a paid event. Chuck Hendricks is coming down to being a roadie to help us with some of the gear. Um, you know, he's going to help, help probably a lot of the stations get ready as well as Joe right here to my, would that be to my, to my left here? I'm going to be he's, a king gopher. Yeah, well, he's gonna be the king gopher, but you're also back up on the window. If uh, we, we're gonna have, because we're gonna have, I'll get to this. We're gonna have two window cleaning stations. Let me get to that. Trudy's doing her paint thing. Um, Darren White is actually gonna be doing something with hard surface restoration as well. Um, Heath Phelps is doing a soft washing module with. Uh, it's there on the. It's listed what equipment he's gonna be working with. Um, Leilani Chaussner is working with Jason Ayers. They're going to be doing a rust removal, and then they're going to be doing also a maintenance cleaning. So they're going to be working with groundskeeper, talking about maintenance cleaning, and they're going to do some rust removal uh, stuff as well. Patrick Clark is going to is going to be doing. He'll be doing a talk inside on day one because. We've got circuits going on. Well, we have some inside classroom, not just outside classroom stuff, but he'll be doing an inside thing, and he'll be doing so – I don't know exactly what his talk is going to be about, but he'll also be doing a gutter cleaning module. Um, Bo Giosetti will be there uh, representing the PWNA, and they're going to have a training trailer there with a host of things. We talked about Jerry McMillan. Jerry's going to be doing the instant capture recovery and talking about wash water control. And yes, you will be able to leave this. If you go to Jerry's thing, you're going to be able to take a test and you'll be able to leave nationally certified for free. 16 guys in Phoenix got nationally certified and they're actually certified uh, in wash water control. Greg Tatum's going to be doing several things. He's going to be talking about paver sealing and they're going to talk about their new chemical that, that cleans wood as well. We all know Brandon Vaughn's going to talk to you guys about how to keep and get employees, which is going to be a really cool thing. Caleb Roth is coming there to stain. You know, he's going to come there to stain. That's what he's going to do. Michael Draper working the fall protection unit that we dedicated to Ted Watson. Ted passed away a few years ago. We made a fall protection trailer in Ted's memory. Um, and basically, we're going to be doing some free fall protection training with Mike Draper. We appreciate Mike coming out. That unit is now going to have a home in Sandestin with Trudy and Panhandle Power Wash. And they vowed to give two, three, at least three training seminars a year in fall protection. Absolutely free to the industry. We just don't want anybody, you know, we don't want anybody getting hurt, guys. So we're trying to get this, we're trying to get a handle on this safety stuff. Leon Johns, guys, is bringing his gas-powered unit. He's going to be talking about how to soft wash the, with the gas-powered units. Um, obviously, Shane Wickham is one of our hosts, along with Trudy. Uh, Josh Trees, they're going to bring the tiny house. They're going to show you guys how to get into the Christmas light installation business Mindy Lennon, I already told you guys, the queen of clean. She's going to be teaching how to clean uh, sidewalks and driveways. Um, Jamie Smith's coming out. He He's doing an inside 
talk that day as well. Same type as Pat. He'll be in one of the inside rooms on circuit training day. John Mickelson is handling the water fed pole. Judd, uh, Judd West is taking care of the uh, accessories class like we were talking to. Um, uh, Matt, Matt Hayden uh, is going to be working with the uh, tiny little house. Uh, Matthew uh, Paul Chell will be working with Bo Josetti and the PWI in a training unit. Uh, Mike Weingart is going to be one of the speakers on day two. He'll be on probably after Brandon Vaughn. Um, and then we got Ryan Cash, guys, not, not not last but least. You guys know him as the Roof Tech. It's a brand new all-in-one cleaning system, and they're going to be out there actually using that system. They're gonna, It's going to be a system that they're going to show you they can flip from surface cleaning a surface to soft washing a building with a flip of a switch. And cool. it's pretty pretty interesting machine. It's the first in our industry. Pretty crazy stuff. You guys will be able to get to get get out there, come out there and see this thing. Any questions, guys? Man, we're 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 about ready to uh, about ready to wrap this thing up. Uh, never want to go over an hour, right, Joe? Yeah, most definitely. <laughs> most definitely. Especially since we're both hungry. <laughs> yeah, we're both hungry. I got the Golden Girls to watch on TV tonight. You know what I mean? <laughs> it does. It does. And guys, we will have a surprise speaker at the end of day two. We're not going to tell anybody who it is. It's a surprise. I don't that's even what know it, who it is. So that's what a surprise fun. speaker is. It's a surprise. <laughs> Anyways, Joe, anything in closing, Joe, you want to tell these guys? Man, just get out to an event. Uh, granted, we want you to go to the Orlando or uh, the event we're talking about, Trudy's event. Down Sam there Destin. Iowa. Yeah. But it don't matter what event you go to. Get the training. Get the education. And when you get to these events, don't do like I did the first two or three events I did and just stand against the wall. Get involved. Start some conversations. And you're going to say, one last day, Ron. Some people say, well, I want to go to this event, but I don't want this person. Let me tell you something. All these arguments we have behind the scenes, when we get to these events, they're gone. Nobody argues at these events. It's, everybody's, it's all about having fun. Everybody's having a good time. Nobody wants to come. Nobody wants to be a buzz killer, man. Everybody's down there to have a good time, man. Have the camaraderie amongst each okay. other. Hang out with their friends. You can go hang out with your friends. We'll hang out with our friends. We can all cohabit habitat. It's a it's a very professional environment, and it never ever in I mean, in all the years I've been doing it, there's never been anything that I've really ever have an incident or anything like that, guys. And don't be afraid if somebody's telling you, don't go to that event. You're gonna choose sides. No, <laughs> anybody that's telling you that you're choosing sides is choosing sides. Yeah, <laughs> don't, exactly. don't 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 listen to that. You need to pick an event like Joe and I were telling you based upon what the content is what you need in your thing. And this event has stuff for new people and it has very advanced stuff. And it has some of the people in the industry that has been doing this for 20, 30 years and have been very successful as well as younger guys that have only been doing it for a very short period of time that are very successful. Yeah. So it's going to have a lot of things. I always tell people about this like I can't remember starting up, you understand? And it was a di it's a different environment today than it was when you and I 25 oh, years ago were in this. It's a whole different world, a whole different way to start up. And am I the best person to tell you how to start up your business? Probably not. Somebody that's been doing it successfully for three or four or five years is probably way more qualified in this environment than I would be, you know, because well, I mean, you got started in this business, but they were still using the yellow pages. That was It was back in the 1900s, man. Yeah. <laughs> we were using, I mean, it, you talk about advertising, you better get your big ad in the yellow pages. That's it, coupon. man. That's it. Hey, guys, make sure you chime in. Make sure you share these things. I'm going to look at the guys who shared this thing right now, and I'm going to announce here who's going to who's gonna be the lucky winners. I'm going to give at least two or three of these away tonight, guys. So if you, if you share this thing right now and you chime in that you shared it, I need you to chime in that you shared it so I know you did. I appreciate that, guys. want to let you guys know, don't forget, January 19th and 20th, Sandestin, right there below. Go to nationalcleaningexpo.com. Get registered, guys. Hey, guys, Ron Musgraves, Pressure Washing Institute, Contractor.